Energy consumers may soon be able to short-circuit their power bills by trading rooftop solar directly with their neighbours. A start-up company is developing a system which would allow people to store and trade energy with whoever they choose. More from our consumer affairs reporter Amy Bainbridge. Footscray Community Arts Centre in Melbourne's west is part of Australia's solar revolution. The plan is to put 30 kilowatts worth of solar panels on this roof, which is the warehouse, and then 10 kilowatts on this roof of Henderson House, which is a heritage listed building in a bluestone building. The centre is combining crowdfunding with philanthropic donations to buy panels and a battery to store its surplus energy. What we'll be able to do is actually through the Tesla battery store that energy during the day as well and then use it in the evening so we're less reliant on kind of more mainstream grid based power sources. This centre aims to save $15,000 in power bills each year but it could save even more if it could sell surplus energy to others on the grid. I'm going to take the big people out of the picture and have people like you and me making our own decisions about about electricity, who we want to buy from or what price we want to buy from. Jitendra Tomar is at the helm of a startup called Local Volts, which would allow community groups, consumers and businesses to trade solar energy. And if you're people living in an apartment, I say, well, I want to buy from my tennis club, and because I like their price, we have a special price for the tennis club members, then all of a sudden, they say, yeah, I'll, I will buy electricity from my tennis club. So finally, we're going to have some choice. I think that's ultimately where it'll end up and you know, we see the, our grid is probably going to be the spine of, of allowing that to occur as microgrids are sort of formed as home generation technologies are, are rolled out. The Australian Energy Council which represents retailers and generators says work is underway to study the market implications of local trading. Amy Bainbridge, ABC News.